channel my name is kevin alvisures and it's like 7 30 in the morning and i just woke up like you guys can see my hair is a mess and today i'm doing a day vlogging showing you guys how i get ready and prepare to film because i'm back to my apartment after the fire if you guys didn't know i was out of my i was displaced from my apartment for about five months or six months and i just recently came back i'm finally set up and I organized my stuff in the closet already and everything. Basically, this is a vlog about me getting ready to film a makeup tutorial and other things that I have planned to film. I'll talk more about it later in the day. Let me just get started. So before I even shower or do anything to get ready, because I'm gonna go get coffee before I get started, but I have things to do. Like I need to make my bed and I need to wash some dishes because I need to use my sink to wash my brushes. Yeah, so right now, before I even shower, I'm going to go do my bed and wash some dishes that I have dirty. So did my bed wash the dishes just need to wait for them to dry so i can put them away so for today's outfit i want to do something simple so i'm gonna do this los angeles white t-shirt with this double be brave and bold shorts black socks andrew christian underwear and my lifestyle jordans so that's gonna be the outfit for today super cute and now i'm gonna go shower and get ready so something i do legit every morning is use the scale it's a smart scale so you get on it without socks and i usually go without clothes because i don't want so see that it's blinking because it's telling me to lean forward and it's going to tell me my body fat um, my water weight and how much weight i've lost see the fat count and the water count and then it tells you the weather but you have to get on it without socks because it sends electricity through your feet and that way like it tells you your fat your water and your height so for my morning routine i'm gonna start with this for my hair it's called spain honey news and you guys want to use just a tiny amount like very tiny because it's super strong and it's like gel for your hair <sighs> add it to our hair I know my hair is so mess. Then we add lotion to our body. Really everywhere. You know, if you want to stay young or your skin looking fresh, you have to moisturize. Because you want to avoid looking ashy. And we do our legs. Then I use CeraVe for my face. You want to make sure to moisturize your nose because that's where you get blackheads a lot. Or have you it? Yeah. Smell good, a little body spray from Victoria's Secrets. Super cute. Mm -hmm. And not perfect, but clean. Mm. <laughs> Three hours later. So I'm ready. You guys can see the fit. There we go. <laughs> okay so i'm done getting ready it's time to go for my coffee it's about 8 45 so i spent like an hour and something getting ready and washing dishes and doing my bed i don't know if i'm gonna be filming while i'm getting coffee or while i'm getting food but this is definitely going to continue to be a vlog and I'm going to continue filming and letting you guys know what my day is preparing to film. So this is part one, me getting ready and getting out of bed. So I'm going to go get coffee and I'm going to go grab something to eat and I'll be right back so I can start working on the things that I need to clean and all of that. But for now, let me go grab some coffee because I need some caffeine in my system and I need something to eat. So every time I come in, my lights turn on automatically because of the home pot. Hey Siri, turn the lights off. 
think cute. <laughs> so I got both salsas, green and red. And I got something that's called a mulata burrito, which is supposed to have three types of meat in it. And it looks super delicious. It was from uh, one of those street vendors. And it looks big and cute. And I got my coffee. So I'm gonna eat my meal and then I'll continue with this video. But yeah, let me eat first. So just really fast, this burrito tastes so good. I'm going to insert a clip of the taco truck that I got it from. Literally the best burrito. It has so much flavors. It has three kinds of meat and it's so good. So I'm almost done with my morning routine. The only thing I do do every morning is call my mom. But since I'm filming with my phone, you guys are not going to be able to hear our conversation or I won't be able to record myself calling her or talking to her, I think. Or I could use my other phone, but my other phone's camera doesn't work. Hello, como esta? Bien. So I just got done talking on the phone with my mom. I wanted to show that because this is a daily vlog and I'm showing you guys what I do every single day and that's literally something I do every single day. And I feel like everybody should. Like if you have a parent or a guardian that you truly love and care about, you should call them every single day because you never know when is the last day you're gonna talk to them and it makes them feel better. Like I know my mom loves when I call her every single day and if I don't call her then she calls me like mad at me that I didn't call her. <laughs> so yeah, that's part of my day. And now I'm going to start cleaning my wigs. So I keep my blonde wig here. This is the bag that came from Huda Beauty. And it works so well to keep my wig like nice and protected. This is a bag made out of silk material. And in the other side, it has the name of the company where I got the wigs from. So I don't want to show it because I don't really trust that company since both my wigs came back missing inches from the front, which make them look ugly. But I just have to make it work because I can't buy new ones right now. These are two wigs that I have to clean because they're both dirty. And I have to clean my sponges and I have to clean all these brushes. I know you guys are probably saying like, oh my God, Kevin, you're complaining too much. There's literally not that much to clean, but literally by the time I'm done cleaning all these three things, my hands are going to be throbbing and hurting. Like every single time I clean my brushes, my hands end up hurting. Like literally they hurt so much. Like not even when I work out, they hurt that much. And this just takes a while to clean because it's 30 inches of hair. And same with this. Like again, I don't like telling the name of the company where I bought the wigs because those are not wigs that I'm gonna recommend to you guys. They're not good quality. The hair is good quality. They don't have a lot of fallout, but I feel like if I'm going to recommend a company, it's gonna be something that you guys are going to be happy with. And like they're gonna legit send you what you paid for and they did not send me what I paid for that's missing inches and it looks horrible I just feel like it's better for you guys to not know what company I got them from but if in the future I buy wigs that are good quality and I love them I'm for sure gonna let you guys know where I got them from I just want to mention that because everybody always asks me where did I get my wigs from and trust me it's not worth it I paid a lot of money for bad quality and it's not good but before I start cleaning and doing all of that, I'm gonna take a smoking break because a bitch needs to get medicated. So it's about to be 12 p.m. and I haven't smoked all morning other than this this C right here. But this is CBD. This is not really, um, it doesn't have any THC. So I'm gonna light this joint and I'm gonna smoke before I get to cleaning. So I don't think you guys want to watch this, so I'm just going to skip it. So he, here are the wigs. I had to change because I'm about to get wet. And I'm going to show you guys how I wash them. 
So we're gonna need two buckets. I'm gonna use these containers. They're gonna be sitting here for 20 minutes in the water with conditioner. And hopefully that'll help my wigs become softer and maintain them in good health. After that, we're gonna rinse them and then I'll put them to dry. While the wigs are sitting in the conditioner, I wrote this message on YouTube for my YouTube family. Just to let them know that I'm filming this vlog and to let them know that I'm coming back and because it's been about six months since I left. My little message of me that I'm blogging and that... Oh my god, my screen is so dirty. I'm gonna clean it today. But yeah, so just while I wait, I wrote a little message to make sure that I keep my... The people who follow me engaged and they know what I'm doing and what I'm up to. And so they know that new content's coming soon and that I'm preparing to film new stuff. And later on in this video, I'm gonna tell you guys what I'm preparing for and all the cool stuff that are coming to my channel and very important things that I've always wanted to do. So yeah, this is just a little message that I left for my YouTube family so they know that I care and to keep them engaged to what I'm doing. And this is the little message, but yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, and thank you so much, guys, because I got to 1K, and that's helping me so much with the monetization, which, like, I'm so happy about because sooner than later, I'll be able to monetize this channel. And with all the new people following me, I'm so grateful. Thank you, guys. Welcome to my community, and yeah, hope you guys enjoy. So now we're going to let them dry here. So I could use the machine and dry them a lot faster, but that could potentially damage the hair with overheat and all of that. So I rather just let it dry by the air naturally. It's gonna take about a day or so to fully dry, but we're gonna let them leave them here. So I'm just going to wait for it to dry till tomorrow. So we're gonna leave them there. And now I'm going to wash my dirty brushes. Now I have to wash my dirty brushes, so that's part of my getting ready for filming. I've tried every single method to clean brushes. I've used the vinegar, the cider vinegar. I don't know if you guys use that method. The, I've used the cider vinegar uh, method. The, I've used many methods, but the one I find the most easiest and the one that keeps my brushes the most clean is to simply use um, the detergent I use to clean my dishes. And I just find this to be the easiest method to clean your brushes. I don't think you guys can see it, so I'm just gonna do this one really fast and then I'll do the other ones out of camera. And usually when I clean my brushes, at the end my hands hurt because of all the scrubbing. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's super clean. And you guys see how easy that was and fast. So we make sure all the soap is gone and the water is out. And then we just let it dry. So I'm going to do the rest off of camera and I'll show you guys the results at the end. Okay, I know these bunches look dirty, but there's just so much you can clean them. So I might double clean them after, but for now, this is just how they are and I'm gonna let them dry. And I wash my brushes and yeah, so I'm done with the brushes. So I'm done with the brushes, I'm done with the wigs and this is just part of day one. So. so part of my day also is working out. So I'm going to use the Jax Jocks dumbbells to work out. I don't know if I'm gonna film that, but I'll probably do a few clips. But yeah, so part of my day is working out. I love these dumbbells because they're electronic. You press on it to turn it on. And if you want to change the weight, you just press here for up. Oh, the battery's probably done. So this, um, you press the button to go up and it electronically does that, see? And then to go down, right now I'm at 26 pounds. See? So I'm gonna use this to work out right now and I'll be back. I just got this Jack Strox um, dumbbells like a month ago and they were on sale. Usually they're $500, but they were on, they were 300 and that's the only reason why I got them. I usually work out here in my bathroom and I put music on. I used to weigh 
175 pounds and I'm down to 160 in one month since I got the dumbbells they're pretty cool I'm not going to do I'm not going to film myself working out because I just feel like that will be too long and too much for this video. So I'm just going to do it and show the result after and that's it. But this is part of my daily routine so working out. Okay, so I'm done working out and now I'm going to work on um, some projects that I have for YouTube, which one of them is a video that I'm planning to do for this girl called Dana Alodaivi. Sorry, I can't pronounce the last name wrong. But I'm doing a video on this girl because uh, she recently passed away and she got killed by her husband. And I don't want to go into detail about her case, but it's something that happened recently and I've seen a lot of like news reporters and a lot of people on YouTube making reports about her. I've seen a lot of missed information and a lot of people just commenting on her in a way that is kind of disrespectful and just kind of making fun of her. I felt inspired to just do this video because I was planning to do a show, um, kind of like a gossip show. But, and I'm still planning to do that, more about celebrities and just commentaries about my opinions on them and all of that. I feel like I also want to do cases that are more serious and kind of related to situations like this. But I also want to spread word on who she was. I feel like we all deserve to have our story told properly and with respect. And yeah, I'm going to be working on a video about that case and what happened to her, like what led to what happened to her. I'm also planning on do um, makeup tutorials soon. I'm planning to do um, some other videos that I'm not gonna go too deep into it because I have things to do. But basically, I'm going to go through this girl's um, YouTube channel and watch a lot, which I already watched a bunch of her videos, which is why I know a lot of people have been giving misinformation. But um, I'm gonna keep on watching. I'm going to record some of her. I'm going to save some of her videos so I can edit them and uh, so, cause I don't know if they'll get copyright. I'm gonna show you guys her channel and uh, so you guys know who I'm talking about. And so this is the girl I'm going to be doing a video on. Her name is Dana Alotevi. I don't know if that's her real last name. I know she's Latina. And I've been watching her videos and educating myself on who she was because honestly, I didn't know who she was before I found out what happened to her. And because I watched a lot of videos of people reporting her death and also the news um, in Hawaii uh, reported on her death. But yeah, so I have a lot of videos to get through and I'm going to take my time with this. I want to do it um, very nice and respectful to her. She had a really cool, nice, fresh personality. She was a very happy girl overall. I mean, she had a lot of problems and a lot of things, bad things that were going through her life, but overall she had a good attitude about it and she was hopeful for life which i love she had a great personality and i'm going to be seeing what her videos are about and she's a total like she's the kind of girl that doesn't take herself too serious i, I mean i'm gonna i'm going to go more in depth about who she was and make a better video about it this is just uh kind of like letting you guys know what i'm working on the next few days i'm going to be working on making her video and I honestly don't know if I'm going to be in drag when I make Donna's video or if I'm going to be as myself because I don't think it's disrespectful if I do it in drag I think it'll just add to it but I don't know when I'm going to be done researching her story and when I'm going to be done editing it so it's going to take a little bit of time but that's what I'm working on um, soon I'm also going to do a makeup tutorial and I'm going to 
um, do some reviews of shows that I've been watching. So that's what I'm working on and hopefully you guys like it and I'm going to continue vlogging as much as I can. So tomorrow once they're dry I'm going to fix one of the wigs, probably the blonde one because when I did the, the poll for you guys to vote which wig you guys prefer, you guys like outvoted the black one by a lot. So tomorrow I'm going to probably have to shave like my legs. I'm going to fix one of the wigs to, for filming and probably two days from now I'm going to fix what I have planned. Since I've been gone for five months, I thought what else can I can incorporate into my channel and I figured like I'm just going to throw in as much content as I can and I'm going to just do different kind of things. Whatever comes into my mind, like I'm just going to try to do it. And what I've been wanting to do is reporting because I always wanted to be a reporter. Like ever since I was little, I always wanted to be a reporter. I'm planning to film this um, video on the story behind how Dana Alot Davi Taibi, how she passed and how what led to her death and all of that and I also want to share a little bit about who she is as a person but that's just gonna be for the video so it's 9 p.m. right now and I just ordered some pizza because I'm hungry and I also had to order weed because I ran out of it editing takes a long time it's really boring you guys probably don't want to see me edit Probably later in the future I can do a video where I'm editing and um, if you guys are interested in learning how to edit a video for YouTube and how to start, I could probably do that. But for right now, I'm just going to, well this is just a vlog so you guys don't want to see me. Mm -hmm. So to show you guys what I'm doing or just to keep you guys updated a little bit in this vlog. I'm taking notes about everything that I feel like it's important, that I think it's like either a fact or something that it's important to add to my video and just to narrate the story. So I'm starting from the beginning and to the end and I'm like if it seems like I'm not watching it, it or like I am, I just rewatched a few things that's why it looks like this but i'm watching every single video and i'm taking notes about i feel like it's important and yeah so that's basically what i'm doing i've been here for one hour now investigating and yeah i'm super tired but i'm gonna continue doing this so it's a little bit after 9 p.m so yeah this one i'm up to so i'm gonna continue watching her videos and taking notes and yeah hopefully new content soon so i was going to film myself receiving the package but i just thought it was such like invasion of privacy for the driver so i just didn't do it i didn't do it but here it is and it looks like a big package but i only order an ounce and they gave me a bunch of little but I'm going to see if they're all the same. I think they're all fruity pebbles. Oh, so they are the same brand. Yeah, here it is. So something I do every time I get weed is put it in this container. It fits up to an ounce. So seven bags filled up this cannabis. Yeah, it looks so cute. It has some purple in it. It looks super cute. So one of these bags had this inside. This is all it comes in it. So seven bags here and one here. Total of eight and it looks super cute. So here's the pizza. It looks super delicious and I'm going to eat right now. Like and subscribe and comment down below if you like this video and if you would like to for me to do more vlog videos. So it's 2 in the morning and I've been um, watching Dana Alatobi. Alatobi. So it's 2 a.m. and I've been watching her YouTube channel all night and I'm pretty tired. So I'm going to go to sleep. So that's all for the vlog of today. Thank you for watching and bye.